The Northtown News Magazine is brought to you in part by eVoter. eVoter is proud to be a sponsor of the Northtown News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. We cut taxes here. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. I'm Marty Levinson, and you're watching Northtown News Magazine. For the identity of the real Marty Levinson, please stay tuned for the Northtown News Magazine. Hi there, I'm the real Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine show with the greatest cameraman around, Sonny Hirsch, and your host, Avi Myers. Thank you, Marty. Avi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the web at ntnm.org. Pick up your free copy of Jewish Chicago, which is around the corner and throughout the universe. You'll find it at just about any place that serves corned beef anywhere. And uh, in any event, plus a number of other Jewish. You know, if you have any trouble getting it, just uh, go to aviworld.com or give me a holler and I'll let you know where it is in your neighborhood. It is a pleasure to have in this election season somebody who's running for re-election for a third term in the 13th district of, the, of Cook County, a member of the Cook County Board, and somebody who's certainly made an extremely um, good impression, not just a good impression, but been a real benefit to the board um, in his first almost eight years there, Larry Sufferton. How are you? Hi, Avi. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. And uh, so what's going on? Tell us, about, tell us about your accomplishments for a bit. Mm -hmm. Well, we are, we are in the middle of a re-election season, and people are, are beginning to do early voting, and, and uh, we're, we're aiming towards no, the November election. Uh, for the Cook County Board, it's an exciting time because we will have, uh, for the first time in four years, a new president. Todd Stroger lost the primary. It looks very good for Tony Preckwinkle, who will bring great energy to the county board. And I think that we're seeing throughout the country that people are upset with incumbents who haven't done anything and incumbents who have, have caused problems for their constituents. In, in, in the county board situation, that's why Todd Stroger lost, and I think seeing Tony Preckwinkle win that will be helpful. In my situation, while I'm an incumbent, I, I have been... Oh, by the way, I do want to tell people to stay tuned because next week or the week after, Tony's going to be on the show. That'll be great. Uh, she's a wonderful person. In, in my situation, while I'm an incumbent, I've been an incumbent who's been in the minority and who has been fighting the establishment and the other incumbencies that are in county government trying to get the reform and the delivery of services, meaningful tax reform, meaningful property tax uh, transparency, and more importantly, more services to people. And I'm proud of the fact that I sponsored the Independent Health Board that is now running the Cook County Health System, which has over a million and a quarter patient visits a year. And wow. these are citizens throughout Cook County who need health care, and we are finally taking care of them. We've done things to reform the way juveniles, young people, are treated in the Juvenile Temporary Detention Center. We've worked with Judge Evans to deal with foreclosure issues, to try and make the court system more friendly to people who are in difficult times in these, uh, the economic realities of their, of their worlds right now. Uh, we've worked with Sheriff Dart on a number of programs to try and keep people from getting into trouble and those that are in trouble to rehabilitate them so that they can be constructive members of, of our society. So I, I feel like it's been a very positive uh, uh, term, even though I've always been fighting the people in charge, especially President Todd Stroger. On the Forest Preserve side, you and I have talked about By the way, that's it. a righteous cause, though. Yes, <laughs> it, it has been. Uh, on the Forest Preserve side, and we've talked about how in my district, we have a lot of forest preserves, a little bit west of the city, but going through Lincolnwood and Skokie and Wilmette and uh, up into Glencoe where we have the fantastic uh, Chicago Botanical Garden. Uh, we've done a lot of things to improve uh, the facilities, to make sure that uh, uh, the trails are taken care of. We've worked very closely with the Holocaust Museum and their parking lot is actually in the Forest Preserve which is, was done in a way to encourage more Forest Preserve participation in what's called Harms Flatwoods which is the area over there. And, and with the uh, uh, Holocaust Museum, we have been able to do a number of outreaches to people and get people more involved in using the Forest Preserve. So that's what I've been working on. And, and you know, my belief in this election is that... By it, the way, I just want to say one thing, too, that you've also been extremely instrumental, more so than any other 
politician, even the Jewish guys, uh, for getting the for getting everything smoothed over for the Chicago, Greater Chicago Jewish Festival every other year. And Michael Lorge always raves about what a great job you do. Well, that's a real privilege for the Forest Preserve to host that event, which has been uh, the, uh, every other year, and it was this year. Uh, you were out there, I know, uh, uh, filming. Uh, and you created a modern miracle because we were on together with Lou Lang. Lou well, Lang and I were on the same uh, thing. I, I was walking with him and you. I saw you. I called you over and, uh, and I, we were glad to both uh, be with you. But, you know, th th that folk festival brings about 30,000 people into the forest preserves uh, over a, a one-day period. And the, the, the crafts, the music, the, the just friendship of families that you run into. I ran into federal judges there. I ran into... Uh, people who are bricklayers. I mean, it, it's the combination of everybody who comes together and, and celebrates the, the life of the Jewish community, the folk history of the Jewish community. Uh, that really, and it's a privilege for us to work in the Forest Preserve to have uh, uh, St. Paul Woods used as the site. Uh, and, and we've worked really hard to make our Forest Preserves better capable of having these large events, having the right number of washrooms and things like that. Uh, so those are the things we've done. As I said, in this election cycle, people are upset with incumbents who haven't done anything. They're upset to see the state of Illinois and the state it's in. They're upset with the city of Chicago. But, you know, I, I think that the, the one thing I can say to people, with Tony Preckwinkle coming, we will be able to make the county a government you can really be proud of. Well, one thing for sure, she's a very honest, hardworking woman. She, she is that. She's shown that in 19 years in the city council, representing the fourth ward. She... She is uh, energetic. Her ward is, uh, when she was elected, was one of the poorest wards in the city. She has done a number of things to stabilize housing there, to get jobs into that area. She's worked hard with the city to get health care into there. I think that she is, is someone who is an accomplisher, and she will lead the county. She will, for the first time, give us a countywide economic development plan that we can work with uh, the city of Chicago, the city of Evanston, Skokie, Lincolnwood, whatever community has an economic development issue, she'll, she'll, she'll be on top of that. She's going to work to make sure our public health system is seamless between city and, and suburban areas. She's going to work on the Cook County Housing Authority to make sure it is responsive to the needs of people and that there is, again, a seamless approach <coughs> to those who <coughs> need Excuse assistance me. in housing. So I, I, I'm very optimistic. And for me, it'll be the first time in eight years, with the exception of a couple months when Bobby uh, Steele was the interim president, that I'll be working with a president whose programs I have confidence in that will be for the benefit of the people and not for the benefit of their donors, their contractors, and their family friends, as uh, unfortunately it's been with Todd Stroger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Wrong pipe. Um, so, okay. It, 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 what else is going on? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, we've been watching carefully uh, Todd Stroger's administration just... Recently, the Shackman administrator said that he had did 150 illegal hires. Wow. And we had passed ordinances. I, I sponsored them with Commissioner John Daly and others to limit his power, but the, the, uh, he vetoed them, and we didn't, couldn't get 11 votes to override them. And that's been our problem with him. You can pass things with nine votes, but you can't. you got to override his veto with 11. And uh, I, I think that I will continue in the next 60 days, as he is still president until December 6th, to make sure that he doesn't do anything more to hurt uh, this government. So I, I'm optimistic that the future is bright. I think uh, uh, I look forward uh, to that. And, you know, in terms of citizens, your property taxes will be coming out soon. Make sure you have all the exemptions. If you have questions or problems, come to my office in Evanston. It's at 820 Davis, right at the L, right at the Metra uh, station at, at Davis uh, and Benson. Uh, call the office. It's 847-864-1209. Karen Chavers, my office manager there and outreach coordinator, will sit down. We have lawyers on our staff who can help you. We want to make sure that you're only paying your fair share of the property taxes, that you have a reasonable assessment, and that you have the proper exemptions. So that's the biggest issue, I think, coming up other than the election. I want to say that I've actually done that, and Karen was very helpful, and I went to the office, and uh, it really was a very good situation. Okay. Uh, you know, other than that, I, I, I want to encourage people to vote. You know, one of the things that I see happening now in the city of Chicago is that uh, the mayor's announcement that he's not running is causing people to look at February 2nd when the mayoral election will occur and bypassing November 2nd. 
and it is extremely important for people to vote November 2nd. We're picking a governor, a United States senator, members of Congress, members of the General Assembly, and every elected county board member. So wherever you live in Cook County, there are races you should be involved in. There's going to be a significant race for assessor that pits Joe Berrios versus Forrest Claypool. You need to listen to what both of those candidates are saying. I've endorsed Forrest Claypool. I think he will do a great job as assessor. But this is an office that is extremely important to you. As I mentioned before, I want to make sure that all of you only have the proper assessment and you're not paying taxes for your neighbor's property that may be under assessed. So listen to those candidates and the materials that are out there. And I think uh, you need to participate. There are polls out recently that say that the participation in the November election may be the lowest in Illinois history. We can't let that happen. You have a duty to vote. Democracy requires you to vote. Think of our troops in Iraq and Afghanistan who are fighting to make sure democracy comes to those two countries. We need to make sure we participate as we fight to give other people the right to participate. I agree 100% and that's very important. I don't understand how people wouldn't want to vote given all the bad things that are happening. You know, and, and I'm not saying directly as a result of government, but given the state of, of what's going on in Illinois and the things that are going on nationwide, the problems in Chicago, how can people not participate? And uh, it'll make the country a better place. Exactly. And, you know, it's only two years ago that we were in a state of euphoria because Barack Obama, our United States senator, was about to become president of the United States. And he has had to face 14 major problems and probably 25 minor problems that are almost major problems. He's handled them well. I know people are disappointed that you can't, he can't instantaneously stop the war or he can't instantaneously make the economy come back. But if he's going to succeed in the next two years, he needs the support of a United States senator, and Alexei Janulius, I think, is the right person for that job. And he needs Jan Schakowsky back in the, general, in the, the Congress. So we have to vote to save this country. <coughs> I hope I'm not giving you anything. No. <laughs> it is a rainy day today. That is true. Um, well, at this point, you know, I want to, well, you know, I was going to ask you who, you who do you support, but you've pretty much <coughs> indicated that at this point. Right. So uh, I want to thank you very much, Larry Sufferton, Commissioner thank of the you. 13th um, District of Cook County. If people want to contact uh, you. We're at 820 Davis and Evanston. Our phone number, 847-864-1209. Sufferton.org is our website. Oh, and just real quick, you know, the boundaries. I mean, <coughs> I know it's from Arthur Avenue in my neck of the woods. It goes Arthur on the uh, south to Lake Cook Road, the lake to Harlem. So I, I'm fortunate enough to represent the 49th and 50th wards of the city of Chicago. I represent the townships of Niles, Evanston, New Trier, Northfield, and a very small piece of Maine Township that's on the uh, uh, east side of Harlem Avenue. And, vir and virtually all of, every single one of those areas, with minor exceptions, you can also watch them on the Northtown News Magazine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, Abby. Take care. Have a good day, folks.